what's going on today guys all right we have a deer and a bear we're gonna do the deer first the deer is uh steaks the inner loin steak the back strap steak the hind quarters stew as much as possible um then we have this bear this bear um there's a big old story behind it it was it was com completely covered with gravel um I'll show you the bear. I'll put the video of the bear when it came in in here somewhere. But I'm gonna have Kenny tell you the story because he was here when they did it, when they brought it in. I mean, yeah. Well, the guy showed up and he's like, "Oh, we got an interesting story to tell you about this bear." And I'm like, "Uh oh." <laughs> and then I went out and looked at it and I was like, "Ha!" Huh. And he says, "Yeah, we were driving along. We had it on the truck box, on the dog box, and..." Thought we had it tied all the way up, and apparently only had part of it tied up. So I don't know how many miles they drove, but after uh, they got to the guy's truck and they get out and looked, they were shocked to see what happened. And it, it was quite a mess when I started skinning it, but it cleaned it up good. So, you know, it, it should be all right. They'll only lose a few pounds of meat. Secure your load, yeah. especially your meat. Yeah, and, and for you people that are parting it out in the woods or, you know, got a moose and you're parting it out in the woods or your deer or whatever, you, the better care you take of it when it's out there without getting dirt all over it and getting leaves all over I know it's tough sometimes. Um, the more meat you can save so you don't lose it when it gets here. In here, there's, our, there's the deer. This is what's left of the bear. You can see his leg. Like down here, how it's all like all the furs torn off, there's some dirt in it. Um, we will clean this up. I, I will cut this and make sure that none of this dirt ends up in there. So, anyways, we're gonna get started, we're gonna get this done, um, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. And, like I said, I'll put that little reel of uh, the bear coming in in the video here somewhere. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Eventually, my dad made me back in the living room floor and stuff like that, and made my sister do the dishes. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we're taking the back straps out. We're taking the high quarters off. I already got the front shoulders off over there, and Andrew's cutting those right now. They want stew out of this deer. It's Friday! <laughs> <coughs> this deer, the paunch sort of smells like that blueberry coffee that comes from Dunkin' Donuts. I thought it smelled more like wish so last week. I 
I'll let them know. Be writing on the slip. Put um, check inner loins on the slip. Right. And then that way I'll remind them when I see it. So these in inners had a little bit of a punch on it. That's what they're talking about. Um, once we clean them up, they're not so bad, but they're not bad enough that we want to throw them away. So like he said, we'll, we'll cut them and mark them and tell them, and they can decide when they open that home if they want it or not. Um, nine times out of ten, there's probably nothing wrong with it. Like, we, like I said, we try to save as much of your air hole as we can. But it all depends on the care you give it when you're out hunting. Is that now we're gonna head over to the table hello everyone we are now over to the table now on these back straps you can sometimes just pull this cap right off some people call it a bench oh what could be a bench yeah I guess Today's just going to be a bunch of random recording and stuff like that. Um, we do have that other, what was it, a deer on the way? Yep. Uno Dero. So I'll try to record some of that conversation for everyone. much how the mornings start. And like I said lately, we haven't had much, we haven't been super busy, we've been keeping ourselves busy, but it ain't full-fledged deer season yet where Kenny's phone is ringing off the hook. Yeah. Some days I just want to throw my phone across the room because it won't stop. It does get pretty crazy. Especially towards the end of the season. Because you got all the people that call, but then you also have all the people that just show up. Yep. And if it's at the beginning, showing up is quite all right. But once we get into it, if you just show up, you probably might get turned down. Pretty much after the first weekend, we're full <clears throat> and by appointment only after that. Yeah. So, be prepared. Call ahead. So 
always a good idea. They want quarter inch. Sounds different. Tells a new one? Yeah. I got new steel. No, oh, it's that diamond one I bought. Oh, the one you bought, that's right, that's right. We just haven't really used it because it's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's weird. It is kind of weird. You get where Kenny's coming from now. Like once you're using something that you're comfortable with, it's hard to change. Oh. Nobody likes change. Well, sometimes I like change. Find it when I'm at the arcade. I was gonna say, yeah, I, I like the silver. Yeah, or McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you get change back, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Or if my change has that $5 million penny in it. Right. Wouldn't that be sweet? I just had to challenge myself so I can get both sides off in one chunk. There you go. <laughs> oh man, stepping up in the world. He is. That's a good thing. Yep. <clears throat> guys got in the can in there, dear me. This is uh, Randy and Jeff, Jordan, Woolridge. His cousin's the one from Tennessee that had the spoiled bear that year. Oh yeah. I say I remember, but <laughs> it blends all together. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, when you when you've cleaned up a million different animals, it seems right. <laughs> I do remember certain ones though. Certain ones you just don't forget. Right. That is true. Like that big giant pus ball. Yep. Yeah. We had one here. I stabbed into a, a, a muscle and it just possibly yeah. covered everything. It was gross. Scrape these over here yet? Nope. No. No. <clears throat> Take your pick. So this has a little bit of damage and stuff on it, so I gotta clean it up. My secret to everlasting life is a cup of coffee in the morning with a nice dab of honey. Homemade honey or bee made honey? Oh, bee made honey. <laughs> oh, man. 
It makes the pain of cuts on your fingers bearable. Not that I would cut my fingers. Professional. Hello. Welcome to this episode of Packaging with Kenny. And now we shall close the sealer. Yeah. We got some burger. All right, folks, we have a delivery. <laughs> These are our trays. They should be our trays. Third one. I need my first 
All right, folks, so this is the bear that got drugged down the road. Um, it's not too bad. Kenny got it cleaned up pretty good. We're going to try to see what we can do here. First, we'll take the front shoulders off. Shoulders didn't get much more. Oh, <laughs> you've thrown it to me. <laughs> As you can see, they're not bad. And then take out these inners, which I don't know how much of that. Well, I guess not too bad inside. It feels like cutting through a sand pile. So we'll see what we can do with that. No stew, burger Front shoulder time. steaks. Front shoulder steaks. I'm just kidding, it says grind. I was gonna say. I just looked at it, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, I still have 12 yards left. 
My knife is dull. Completely dull. Here. Some freaking sharpening. I mean, from. Can I do that? Anyways. Should be able to salvage most of this beer, anyways. So that's good. The so guy was a little upset that it fell off the truck and he didn't realize it. And I guess stuff happens, but like I said, try to do the best you can and pay attention to your film so that you don't have issues later on down the road. off this hind quarter. And that's pretty nasty. So I'm gonna put that hanging off the edge of the table. And I'm gonna leave this hanging. Then we just gotta take separate that and clean up all that. I'm gonna go over here and do those inners so we'll show you that all right guys these are the uh, dirt covered inners and we're gonna try to get them as clean as possible so and I, it, honestly it feels like cutting through sandpaper so I gotta go a little deeper than normal Make sure I get rid of all that. Can you keep me a rag? Just give me a new one. I need to clean my knife. I just gave him my a lot. And the table. <laughs> to make sure that none of that gravel from the <laughs> from this bear gets in their meat. All right, so now whatever comes off these inners is going in the garbage. But at least they're going to get some of it saved. I got some damage in there. Sure. <laughs> okay. 
well, so that, clean that table off again. So do not want any gravel or anything getting past me. So that's what I came up with. size one inch Ooh. all right and then we're gonna do the same with this one Do what you can, I mean. Yeah, at this point it's a rescue party with that one on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all you're doing to try to cut past it to make sure there's no gravel. Right, you want to cut past enough so you're not taking a lot of the meat with it. But enough to where it's all gone. And that's... That's pretty good. It's definitely got drag. Good shoulder. <laughs> and that is that, and I'm going to do the same to the rest of it. Just wanted to show you, like, we can save it. You can save sometimes. Sometimes you can't. If this bear would have been green, it would have been a different story. All right, folks. This is. We got the inners. We got the back strap, which looks really good. We managed to save most of it. Then we got hind quarters. They wanted roasts and some steaks. So all in all, we probably lost three or four pounds of meat off that bear. Um, we was able to salvage quite a bit of it. Um, now all we got to do is wait for the grinds and finish that up and we're done for it for, for now so uh, i think there's still that deer on the way if that gets here before we're done then i'll make sure to record that for you so we'll see you in a bit all right folks we are all done i guess the guy with the deer decided he ain't showing up for a bit he said an hour or two and he's been like three or four so who knows but anyways we're all done for the day that's what we got out of that bear not too shabby uh hope everybody enjoyed the video we'll see you at the next one Peace. Keep on nature. Oh yeah. I'll hold the barrel, you guys drag her in. I don't. Okay. Sweet. The heart's still on there. Yeah, it's not going. And there's the deer. I can't fucking read that. That's just 130. 130. 
Carnegie too. Mm -hmm. I got another call. I think it's 115, 120. I'm usually not too far off. Well, you see enough of them. <laughs> yeah, we've only seen, what is this, 14? I don't even know how many deer. I got off a little bit, got in that baby last night. Yeah, it's a deer 14. Yeah. Did you hear it? No, he did it. Right as long as you got the guts out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got some paperwork to do you. over here, buddy. Get your license back up there. Yeah. You need your license, today's date, your name and address. All right, we're out of here.